Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share my experience about living in slum for 14 days. The slum which I went named Navutas. For me, this is a corner forgotten by God. Navutas is the city right next to Major Manila. This area is known as Commercial Fishing Hub of Philippines, but actually it is a slum built in by garbage heaps and crafts. Moreover, it is home for more than 250,000 people. We took the local jeepney and tricycle to slum. I was terrified to be robbed in that time. The scary scenes in crime investigation on TV show kept revolting my mind. But well, actually, taking this the coaches' protection are so fun. In this part, I'm going to show you guys where I go, what I do every day. Follow me to see my daily as a teacher. Every morning, we will walk 30 minutes to daycare center where we teach the children. On the way, we need to go through a cemetery to the main road. Then try to keep our life from being hit by a jeepney. After arriving in daycare center at eight. I will start preparing the stuff for the class. Basically, we don't really teach them something that make them happy. In here, I want to stop the video for a moment and tell you something special in Philippines. In Taiwan, we care about being on time, but in Philippines, being late is such a natural thing for them. That's why my 8:30 class always start at 9:30. Another special thing is that most of parents don't have work. Um, maybe I should say they can't find a job and learn is better. So they will come to the class with children as well. Moreover, they always the most happiness, most craziness people in the class. After the class, we will go to students' house for lunch. Parents have no money to pay us, so they cook lunch together and thank us for visiting them. On the way home, you can see how bad the surrounding environment is. However, during this trip, I learned a lot from them. The first thing is love and sharing. They try to give us the best thing they have, even if they're so poor. Sometimes we only have a large bowl of rice and a salted fish, but this is all I have. During lunch, parents and children, even the neighbors, will sit on the floor around you. My heart was broken whenever they tell me, "Eat more. We are not hungry. You should eat more." Do during the day is to play with the children who live around. When I had some games with students in classroom, those kids always hiding behind the windows, with admiring expression in their eyes. Therefore, I decided to spend the rest of my time with them. Those children tell me an important lesson in my life. They tell me what is happy, how simple happiness could be. They were so happy when you embraced them. They acted like they had a world when you ran with them on the sea dike. I thought I could be the one who can help them, teach them, but quickly I found out that I can't change the situation there. I can do nothing. On the contrary, they were the one who made me become better me. 
They told me about love, sharing, and happy.